everybody, it's Brooke with The Buttered Home. Welcome to Messy Kitchen Monday. We hope y'all are doing well. We are all dying in the heat here. Um, uh, we just had a conversation about Reagan running around in 105 degree <laughs> heat and disease in a sweatshirt. And uh, so, you know, but not, not wearing a sweatshirt right now. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, she had to she had to had to come show herself on camera to prove it didn't you baby yes. mm -hmm. anyway uh we love the south for a lot of reasons but the summertime temperatures is not one of those reasons uh nonetheless uh the humidity is one of the things that keeps us all looking young i think that and the food that we eat <laughs> Because whenever you're fluffy like me, you don't have as many wrinkles. So there's there's always a silver lining in every dark cloud. But nonetheless, speaking of uh, watching our womanly figures, we are going to be putting together something tonight that if you are watching your figure, might not be so great. It might not be bad for it, but it might not be the best thing for it. And what we're making tonight is a lemon coffee cake. Traditionally, coffee cakes are like cakes that you have uh, at a tea or um, mid-morning with your coffee, things like that. And they usually consist of a cinnamon-type crumble on top or throughout the cake. Um, they're wonderful and they are perfect in every way. And since it's summertime, we like to cool things off a little bit with our desserts. And we're going to do that tonight with a cream cheese filling and some lemon zest and lemon juice and we're gonna not have any cinnamon so this won't be we're gonna save the cinnamon for the fall which can't get here soon enough <laughs> so this cake has three components to it so we might run a little while and I did not make one ahead of time so what we'll do if it's not too late when it gets done I may go live for just a minute and show you the finished product um, or if none, nothing else, I'll post a picture. But the recipe will drop later in the week, so you'll get the full recipe there. And I promise, if you look at my, my bar here, it's not as intimidating a cake to make as you might think. You just have a topping, you have a filling, and you have cake. But I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do all three of those things and then put them together for a really beautiful, really cool, delicious summer dessert. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna preheat our oven to 350. And then we are going to spray a glass eight and a half by 11 bacon pan and send it out of the way. Now the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to make our crumb topping. And our crumb topping simply consists of butter, flour, sugar, lemon zest. It's very easy. So uh, we're going to, and I'm gonna have to put my glasses on, you'll just have to bear with me. So we're gonna get our topping together first. And I'm gonna show you a really easy way. And this goes for pie crust, this goes for biscuits, and this goes for anything else that you have to use cold butter with. And you don't really want to take the time to, um, uh, kind of do it with your fingers or do it with a pastry cutter. You don't want to have to do all those things. You, you get your butter really cold and you get a box grater or a grater and you carefully grate your butter in your dish. And whenever it gets small like this, <laughs> I, I, I get a little chicken and I just kind of break it apart with my fingers at that point. So you want to make sure that you get all that butter out from inside that box grater. And don't worry about the measurements because this recipe is going to drop later in the week and you can get them all then. For tonight, just enjoy watching me make a mess. <laughs> so there we have our butter and I'm going to have to get my towel. And it's all nice and grated and in small little workable pieces already. So we are going to combine that with 
our flour and our sugar and then about two tablespoons of lemon zest. Now, if you have a nice plain grater like this, um, I suggest turning it upside down so that the lemon zest will go in here and you just barely want to pierce the skin. You don't want to get any of that white pith. It's bitter and it's nasty. And the name should be indicative of how it tastes if you get it in your lemon zest, pith. <laughs> so we're gonna get us about two tablespoons of that, which a lot of times is the zest of like probably one medium to small lemon and I'm starting to and the reason why I'd like to do it upside down like this is because then I can just take my finger and run it down and get all that good zest out Tanner baby will you get me a fork I thought I had everything but I don't guess I do yeah. You're going to have to wait on it. That's fine. I just was worried that we didn't get it out. In no, time. no. All right. So we're going to mix this up and kind of just take that grated butter and push that in. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything. But what's nice about grating that butter with the box grater is that you really, I mean, it's already small enough so you don't have to uh, cut it in so to speak and you just mix it up and then set this aside because that is going to be your topping so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to make the filling now of course if you're doing this cake in advance you can make the topping and the filling and then cover them and keep them in the refrigerator until you're ready to make the cake and mix everything up so I'm just going to cut this lemon And I'm just going to use my little dish here and juice it because we're going to have to have juice for the filling and juice for the cake. And I've already got some juice in here already because this whole process takes a good bit of juice. And I got a mess everywhere already. I got sugar, I got lemon zest <laughs> everywhere. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that looks all right. Let's set that right there. And now we're going to make the filling. And the filling consists of eight ounces of softened cream cheese, which I really should have opened before now because <laughs> I have a hard time opening cream cheese, especially in front of people. Not tonight, though. No, not tonight. I feel like a chin. I hate opening these things. I do too. I feel like my fingers don't ever work. All right, and my cream cheese is really soft, so some of it is sticking. All right, get that off. Whoa! <laughs> and then we have sugar. So I'm going to cream the sugar and the cream cheese together first until it's nice and fluffy. It shouldn't take long. And that right there, those two things together are the start of some really good, really good things. <laughs> so we're going to add one egg. two tablespoons of our lemon juice. Oh no. No. The Spanish counter over here. Hi. And then we're gonna mix that together.
going to set it aside and it's good and creamy. And let me make sure I didn't forget anything. All right, and now we're going to mix up our cake. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our flour, and I like to use Swan's Down cake flour. It's milled a little finer, um, and it makes some of the best pound cakes, just the best cakes, period, because of the way that it's milled. It's almost a powder. It is milled so fine. So for me, the cake flour does make a difference. All right, and look, feel free, if you have any questions, uh, Tanner and Reagan can stop me and I can answer them. But like I said, we have a lot going on <laughs> with this cake. So we'll try to cover everything as we can, but just know that the recipe will drop later in the week and all will be fine. So now to this, we are going to add our salt. And I have to see how much it takes. Our salt. Yes, ma'am. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> She wanted me to add the salt like that. I, I can't. I'm not coordinated enough to do that. <laughs> and then our baking powder. So those are our dry ingredients. And we put those together first. And then we're going to just sift those together. Set that to the side. And then in a bigger bowl, we are going to beat one stick of softened butter. And it wants to stick too. <laughs> okay. One stick of softened butter. Oh, more lemon zest. <laughs> so I got another lemon out to zest it. And I promise you, if uh, you know, you're talking about like two tablespoons of lemon zest and then the lemon juice is in the filling, it's not overpowering, it's really not. Now, if you are a lemon lover like I am, it is fantastic. But there is enough sugar and enough cake to offset the amount of lemon that goes into each of the components of the cake. So, don't worry about it. It'll be just fine. It's not too much. All right, so we've got the butter and the lemon zest. And we're going to add in our sugar. And we're going to just beat those until they're creamy. And this cake has no vanilla in it. It's a vanilla-less cake. And then we've got two eggs, two very pretty eggs supplied to me by Cash and Cooper's Farm next door. Thanks guys, if y'all are watching. Don't forget about Rachel. Oh, and Rachel too. Rachel too. Thank y'all so much for these beautiful eggs. We love them. Can't get enough of them. <laughs> and just so you'll notice, I did that wrong. I added both eggs when I should have added them one at a time. So learn from my mistakes that when you're making cake, add your eggs one at a time and beat after each addition. But it's live and I'm trying not to keep y'all on too long, so I'm making all kind of excuses. All right, so I've beat our butter sugar and our lemon zest. I've added the eggs. And then we're going to fold in our lemon juice. Until it's mixed in really well. And then we are going to slowly add in. We're going to alternate the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients a little at a time. So I like to do it in halves. So I'll do half of my dry ingredients into the wet portion of the batter. 
and I'm going to slowly on low incorporate that in and drizzle in half of my milk so that it doesn't make a huge mess. And then we're gonna add in the other half of our dry mix. <clears throat> and do the same thing again. All right, now I've said it before and I'll say it again. Don't overmix your cake, just like you don't need to overmix your biscuits. <laughs> you wanna just beat it together until just it comes together and is combined. So at this point, I'm gonna need that. Ooh, that was loud. Holy moly. Sorry. This messes up a lot of dishes. <laughs> I've tried to keep them to a minimum. So now we have this lovely cake batter and we are going to take half of it and pour it into our prepared pan. And we're just gonna spread it out along the bottom. Doesn't have to be perfect. Y'all don't whisper, you can talk, it's fine. We the like office to. theme music was just playing <laughs> in the living room, so. I just ran to turn it off really quickly. Thank you. Uh -huh. And we've got our other baby, Josie, here with us tonight, and she's not talking. Why are you not talking? Nope. <sighs> she's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Reagan talks enough for both of y'all, doesn't mm -hmm. she? That's what she, she gets that from me, I'm afraid. <laughs> All right. So now we are going to take our mixture of our uh, filling and we are just going to drizzle that all over the top. You may have to help it along just a little bit. Can you see what I'm doing, Tana? You sure can. Okay. I am going to sneak behind you to get a toothpick. No, you're not. You can wait on that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you picking your teeth with a toothpick while I'm trying to cook over here. Uh, I'm not going to <laughs> That's the yeah. problem. Oh. <laughs> so we're just going to lightly spread that out evenly across that cake. Now you want to lightly just tap it because you don't want to push it down into the cake. You want there to be two distinct and separate layers. So just kiss it with your spatula or your whisk. And then put a little kissy face in the middle of it. No, because I gotta put more <laughs> cake on top of it. <laughs> And so now I'm about to show you, you're gonna do the second layer of cake. So this is almost like a cobbler in the sense that it really doesn't matter if you get it even or not because it's totally okay if that filling cooks up through the cake, it actually makes it better. So because this is so much thinner, I try to take it and do in big dollops. on the top because it's much easier to spread. And instead of using a spatula, just like I did last time, I'm gonna use my whisk and just kind of spread it in all directions to best cover the top of that anyway. I have a question from Dad. Would you like for me to read it? Uh, I, I'm going to let you use your best judgment on that. Nuts. Can you use grapefruit? No, I wouldn't use grapefruit. <laughs> grapefruit. 
that's the best eating in the morning whenever your taste buds are still asleep. Okay, so we just really just took it and just kind of fanned it out over the top. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be a complete top layer. It's all okay. So now we have this wonderful topping here with the butter and the lemon zest and the sugar that's going to kind of take care of that. So we're going to take it by the handfuls and just sprinkle it over the top. Yes, ma'am. Big D has another question. Uh, Big D is about to get banned <laughs> from the compound on Messy Kitchen Monday. How about grapes? No. <laughs> 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 you said no grapefruit. You didn't say no grapes. <sighs> Any other kind of fruit before he asks? No more questions kind of from the peanut gallery on the front porch. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to spread that out over the top. And don't worry, I know it looks really flowery, flowery, but it is going to be fine because we grated up all that butter and it's going to cook through and bubble up and become a beautiful crumble top. So that is how you mix and assemble a lemon coffee cake. And I'm when I get done, I'm going to either take a picture or go live really quick because it only takes it 30, 35 minutes to bake and we'll be done and we'll be back. So if we don't come back live, um, if I post a picture, let me just do some quick house cleaning stuff. We are still going to draw for the 10 inch cast iron skillet. Uh, I had lots of people um, actually share the video last week. So in order to have another entry into the drawing, we want you to like this video. We want you to tag three people in the comments. And then we want you to share this video. Now, before you share it, if your settings are on private, when you share it up at the top of your post on Facebook, there'll be like a little earth or two little people. So if there's two little people, then your privacy settings are set to friends only. This has to be public for me to see that you have shared it. So just click on that little icon and change it to public. And that way I can see that you shared it and you'll actually get a, um, an entry into the drawing. So next week, we have another recipe that's similar to this one is where there is several things to assemble. But it's just like, you know, my dad always said, any good job is worth doing well for the payoff that you receive. So while these desserts are not quick and easy, the payoff that you get from them, whether you're food gifting or you are having something special for your family, and Reagan just... That was actually me, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I thought it was... Well, you walked by and it shook. I didn't see her leg down there. I apologize, Reagan. That was not Reagan that bought the camera. <coughs> um, the payoff is, is wonderful. So these couple of recipes that we're doing this month are meant to be special recipes that you can get in the kitchen with the people that you love and do all these different components and spend some time together. We like quick cooking too, but we also like good scratch made cooking. And what we've just done tonight is good scratch made cooking. So this recipe will drop later in the week. We hope you like it, we hope you make it, and we hope you'll be back next week and the week after because we have two really great recipes coming up to finish off the sweet summertime month of July. So get ready. We'll be back in a little bit one way or the other and show you what we've got. We love y'all from the buttered home to your home. Good night.